This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, so welcome back to Navina Automation Labs. And uh, in the previous video of the WebDriver IO, I told you that uh, uh, the explicitly wait with respect to web wait until method is there, right? So wait until method I have applied uh, two times. One is for uh, this particular email is displayed or not, right? And another one is for the header. If it is get text is equal to sales dashboard or not, it means the text of the header after login. So after login, we are landing on this page and we are verifying that okay, sales dashboard is displayed or not. Now, what about title, right? How to apply for the title? I want to wait for the title to be reports dashboard. So how will you wait for the title explicitly using the driver, uh, you know, using this particular wait until method? for the title of the page. So far we have seen for the elements. Now let's see for the title of the page. So what I'm gonna do that, see, I simply copy this guy and the same thing I'll be writing over here. Wait until function, instead of header dot get text, I'll be using, I know that, okay, how to get the title. So I'll be using browser dot get title method over here. Okay, browser get that title, it should be equal to what? Reports a dashboard. So we are putting a condition over here that okay, it should be equal to reports dashboard over here. Within six seconds, it means the title is displayed. If it is not displayed, then it will give you this particular error message. The title is not displayed after the given time over here. Okay. Now. This conference will now be recorded. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I somehow by mistake clicked on <laughs> stop recording okay so uh, once again browser dot get title it should be equal to reports dot dashboard so this is i'm writing it should wait until this condition is satisfied or not within six seconds if it is not satisfied then please return title uh, message over there title is not displayed after the given time so like this we can do that so once let's see we're waiting for six seconds and once the title is displayed i just simple okay I'll print the title over here just like this. Uh, logger. Okay, console.log. And I'll put a message over here like this. Right? And then I'll put one assertion also, the simple right assert dot assert equal. And what are you expecting? I'm expecting reports a dashboard. Like this. And this time I'm expecting browser dot get title method. Okay, browser dot oh, sorry. Control C, Control B. Get title method, right? So let's see, it is working or not. So now I have given one more condition for the title, and uh, let's run it. Okay, so it's waiting for that first element, the email element. Fine. Now it's waiting for the header to be displayed, and then waiting for the title to be displayed and you can see that uh, I'll show you you can see that it's printing the title of the page reports a dashboard and the header of the page was sales dashboard right guys so it's perfectly working fine with title of the page it's waiting for that particular title to be displayed like that now the thing is it's sometimes it's difficult to write so many you know um, weight elements like this what if after landing on the home page I want to put to wait until conditions together. It means I want to verify the sales dashboard as well as I want to verify the title, the browser title, the page title also should be reports dashboard. So how to do this? For doing this, what I'm doing this, I put one and condition over here. I simply say that, okay, and, and browser dot get title should be equal to this. So both the conditions should be satisfied. This one and this one, and I'm using and operator. And operator means both the conditions should be satisfied, not either of them. I'm not using or. So if both the condition is satisfied, then only, so now I'll just comment this thing, then only you print the text of the header and then only you get the title and then put an assertion over there. <clears throat> okay, so let's see it's working or not over here. So now I'm putting two condition inside the wait until method. Perfect, now I'm just gonna wait. Oh, okay, check both the conditions, title as well as Okay, title as well as the sales 
uh, header, whatever the sales dashboard is there. And you can see it's printing both the things over here, sales dashboard as well as reports dashboard over here. Perfect. So like this also, you can put multiple conditions like this. Fine. Now let's see uh, what I'll do. Let's see. <clears throat> Deliberately, I'll say that, okay, sales dashboard one, two, three. Either of them is not satisfied. Right. So let's see header dot get text is not equal to this one, two, three. We are expecting this condition should be satisfied. So obviously it will not found it will found sales dashboard one, two sales dashboard, but it's not equal to sales dashboard one, two, three. Right. So this particular condition will not be satisfied. But according to this entire condition, both the conditions should be satisfied. So this will be false and this will be true. So in that case, it's going to wait till six seconds and let's see what happens. So now I'm running it again. <laughs> so deliberately I'm okay making one condition is getting failed. I'm making it fail, and then let's see what happens. So see it's keep waiting in the background for six seconds and then finally it will give you the error. The header is not displayed after the given time. Like this, right? So header is not displayed after the given time because we have written this says dashboard one, two, three, obviously it's not equal to this. So condition is not satisfied. That's why it will give you this message. Header is not displayed after the given, right? The custom message. So this is also, also a good practice to write, uh, you know, you can write multiple conditions instead of writing multiple wait until methods. You can write both the conditions like this. You can simply write it over here like this. Okay. So let's make it back to dashboard right and the maximum time order is six seconds over here and then you just comment it out <clears throat> and then get the title and get the text print it on the console and then assert it properly so this is also what i wanted to cover so remember this thing guys it's very very important method browser dot wait until you have to write it and uh, we have to pass three parameter one is for the function parameter like this what exactly the timeout and the third one is your custom message if the condition is not satisfied like that. Okay, so I'll do one thing header or title is not displayed after the given time, right? Or if you want to put or operator, you can put or also like this. So, but I will prefer and operator if both of them, either of them is not satisfied or um, not satisfied in that case, it should be failed. okay? So that's all for this particular video, guys. I'll be uploading this entire code in my Git repository, and I'll share the Git repository in the description. You can have, you can <clears throat> uh, refer this particular code as well over there. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Thank you so much. I'm hoping that okay, you guys are liking WebDriver.io. Thank you.